All right, guys, I got my TRX4 here, and um, I want to fit a different body shell. I was going to put a Chevy C10 on here, but the one I had just looked a little bit too small. This one here is a Ford F150 Raptor. And I reckon that looked pretty cool. I wanted to go more for the classic look, but um, this is all I've got that will fit at the moment. I still reckon that will look cool. I'll still get a classic one later on, but this is the one here, guys, if you're wondering what it is. All right, guys, I've got it all sort of kind of mounted up now. I've got my um, body posts in there. The arches don't really line up that great, but uh, it's going to have to do, isn't it? I'll have to cut a bit more out of there. But the standard body posts, they're way too long. And what some people have done, I've heard on, on the um, Facebook page, they've put the um, front mount in the back. But here in England, we haven't got any at the minute. So I've got these things here, which are out of an XO1. And they sort of fit in there perfectly. I've got my archers all cut out now. To be honest, I'm not that really that happy with it. It doesn't look that good, I don't think. But I'm going to chuck a bit of paint on there, see what it looks like. If it looks a bit poo, then I'll try something else. So, all right, let's give it a little blast. Doing our backflip off a tree. <laughs> no. Guys, same step but with a Land Rover body. It's a good 
Nice. Ah. Uh. I think that extra weight's kicking it over, isn't it? Oh! your approach in it. <laughs> what in doubt going for out? Subscribe, hit the bell button, give us a thumbs up. You know what you gotta do guys. See you soon. <laughs>